Hey everyone, welcome to day three of CC5 Spectrum. And it's like the other days, another day, another challenge series for everyone to try out. So let's go ahead and take a look and see, well, what makes this one so much more intense? Now, today's daily is taking place at Abandoned Factory, or I believe it's also called Deserted Factory. Either of those two really work, it doesn't matter too much. For those of you who do not remember this particular map, this is the perma map from CC Blade, where you will be fighting Faust and a lot of Katana Boys. Can be a, quite a challenge with the right risks, so we'll see how this one goes. But for now, let's talk about our EX contracts. The first one up is Fog of War. Probably one of the toughest contracts I believe we'll have available. I mean, this one is a serious tile restriction. You think the 20 plus tile bans are serious? Nah, this one one-ups that. What Tafog of War does is it forces you to play on only the vent tiles on the map, giving you a total of 10 places you can deploy at. This is going to make things all the more troublesome as you only have two range tiles to work with and eight ground tiles. Now, Fog of War presents a new handful of challenges that people may not have realized at first. The first is going to be that Faust is not going to be as easy to get to target who you want as everyone's going to be hidden. This is further troubled by technical scouts that will reveal your range units first before anything else. Another problem to consider is that until the technical scouts are actually deployed on the map, Faust is going to be moving a lot faster across the map. This is mostly due to the fact that he has no targets to shoot at. So you'll have to DPS him quicker or else he will actually end up scoring and stopping the run. Now, the Avengers are also very, very dangerous, especially at high risks contracts that they do have available to them. That said, with this particular setup, it's going to be a lot tougher to engage them as, well, they're going to have to get a lot closer than you might actually like. So hopefully you are prepared for that in one way, shape or form. Now, once again, summons, being that they are not operators, will be able to be deployed anywhere on the map since they aren't ops. So feel free to bring in any summoners or devices that you can work with to help you get around this. There's not much I can really give for advice at this particular situation. The biggest one is going to be for your range tiles, and that is bringing in one of your casters that has a high defense and high res stat line to work with. Beeswax is a very good example of this. Her high defense and res, along with her healing at E2, might make it to where she can really tank some of the shots that she has to deal with from Faust. This is more so because, well, Faust is barely upgraded in this particular daily. Now onto my next personal favorite contract, Highlander. The basis of Highlander is that only one of each class can be deployed at any time. You can bring more than one guard, vanguard, medic, defender, whatever you feel is fit. But you have to remember that you can only have one of them active at all times. So you got Silver Ash down th going through his skill, but you need to replace it with Surter. Well, you're going to have to retreat Silver Ash before you put Surter down. That's the way this one particularly works. It's actually surprisingly straightforward once you get used to it a little bit, but it does lead to some very fascinating operator setups. Combine this with Fog of War, and I think we've got ourselves a pretty nasty combination for you guys to try out. The last contract is Fighting Fire with Fire. Probably one of the more difficult ones to obtain for sure, but it's very satisfying to pull off, and a little hilarious to be honest. Now, this contract is, I would say, simple, but getting Thermal EX to take out an Avenger once they're low health is definitely easier said than done. The only major point of advice I can give for this is that Chiave can help out a lot with the robots to redeployment time. Chiave really is showing how handy he is for this game mode this particular season. And with those three contracts, that is all we have for today. So best of luck if you're going to try out today's daily, and I hope to see you guys do well on it, as well as your permamap runs. Hopefully those are doing well. How's everyone doing on those? Have you out Risk 18 yet, or are you still working towards it? Maybe you're even going higher. Feel free to leave your results so far in the comments below, but until then, I will see you guys again tomorrow for Day 4 of CC Spectrum. Later!